No way. Yep. No way. This is, uh, oh, this is the fanzine. Promethean. Oh, Promethean Enterprises. And they reproduced them like that. But these are the actual signs. They were here when we moved in. Really? Yeah. Yes. What? They were, they were on top of that bookcase in that what? corner. This, when this we had moved been in. an antiquarian yeah. bookstore. Yeah. That's incredible. And the guy apparently had these. It's not a complete set. It's not it's a complete about set. And there's a couple of duplicates. And there are a couple of really ratty ones. One of which, fortunately, like is a duplicate. One. But these were printed to uh, be put all bus. along the interior of a bus. Yeah. Oh, um, up above your head. Yeah. yeah. A bus yeah. I wish nice. I'd written. Uh, uh, get yeah. over here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Like we don't have that one. The one that says K-San on it. Right? And so Dusty Street is broadcasting from somewhere in like Michigan or Detroit or someplace? No idea. Bless her heart. Huge influence on me. Yeah. How wonderful. And they were here when you came? They were. Yes. Who did that, Alice? Stedman. Oh, yes, I see. Yeah. Right, can I see it? Just, Just a little added bonus. <laughs> yeah. I should have spade to sign this. I'm coming down. I'll hear you. Yeah, it's officially the rule. Oh, yeah, now it's implementation <laughs> issues. Yeah. Well, I've sold two or three this year already. No, no, it no, was not. We're, we're well, right. I haven't looked up to the guy. I mean, high grade. I mean, the thing is, there's a lot of them. I think high grade's like 50 or 60, I think. Yeah, I sold the one on eBay. A really nice one for about 40. Hmm. Well, let's see. Yeah, what, yeah. How many thousands of percent increase in value is that? From right. 25? Yeah, sure. That's not too bad. Yeah. Even a low grade copy will sell for ten dollars. Mm -hmm. If it's trash, as long as it's, nice. if it's trash, yeah. as long as it's complete. Uh, what a great well, back yeah, I love yeah, that. I've that. seen that in other that other papers too. That that piece of art. I've seen that somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. Yeah. Kurt's. Yeah. Yeah. Go, man. I'll talk to you later, bro. Right, yeah. right, right. Give me a call tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see what's up. All right, later. So how's, how's the class going? Is Diamond Dave still alive? Dave is still alive and still on campus and still elected to student government, which he's probably been doing, what, for his fifth decade now, probably? He's as old as the, the school, 75 years old, and he's about that, right? So he's good. Yeah, I, I, I just see him at the flea market, you know. He lives in that little complex all covered in graffiti. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, he's still around. Going to do Courses, reading, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's a real oh, another reading. I'm going to keep yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just don't want to block your view. I just don't want to block your view. I heard him on it. No, no, pull out whichever one you want. Yeah. Yeah. You know, take I, I didn't bring any of those here. I'll take some of those. You guys see each other now. He's a phenomenal resource. He's a fascinating challenge in the classroom, but he's a phenomenal resource. You ever taught? I want to make sure you get a good one. No, okay, you could picture it though. So it took me about a month to figure out exactly. And there would just be times when I'd know I could just have him talk for 10 minutes and he could do it better than me. And other times where I had to have him defer to another time. But uh, nice. he is a guy. 
those things. Mm -hmm. All right, let's say. Is there anything on the auction table this is anyone's halfway interested in? Yeah, because whatever doesn't go tonight, we're going to put out on eBay for the, for the fund. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, couple of Guy Caldwell originals. I believe this is from Inner City Romance, number five. And a doll original from number two. The anonymous Bo Disney donated this. Mm -hmm. He left earlier. Some of my uh, porn star friends have met Wilson over the years. Uh, Terry Weigel and Wilson signed this book when it premiered. And she just moved to Florida and they flew me and Wilson. You didn't want to go. You could have gone to that show. You just, I don't want to fucking go to Florida. But they flew us out. And, we had Terry there, she just moved there with her husband, so I got great pictures of her and Wilson. I'm gonna, I'll email you some of them. Like, doing goofy stuff. I've, I've, saved, I've saved a lot of really good stuff for the right time, you know, stories and pictures. That's right, so, 150. 150? Yeah, so 150. It's a cool number, but it's Banal. Okay. They don't sign anything here. Okay. And so uh, his, his kind of once he sold it. Oh, he stuff. That's quite <laughs> Well, until I, I couldn't get a crumb signature until the damn contract. Uh -huh. This is like a lien would like endorse the check. The contract himself was for was snatch. The first yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Cool. Uh, CGC donated um, the slabbing of the price guide. Well, I could figure what's the stupidest, most useless thing is to encase a price guide. Because the whole point of these is to keep them sealed forever. Mm -hmm. So when I was designing this, I, I said, how big are your, do you have a big enough well to stick it in? And then uh, they slabbed a bunch of them for me to donate to the various uh, mm -hmm. organizations. So CBLDF is going to get one and Friends of Lulu okay. and Hero. But the first one's going to the Wilson Fund. It's a 9A. And I signed it. And Steve Crompton mm -hmm. did a production with me and Creator Demi mm -hmm. and uh, Brian Taggi who uh, wrote the Turtles article for me. Okay. Because they were the only creators I could ra rally up at the time. There you go. And, it, and then this what, is... What do you... What do you about? Well, this the... I mean, we're selling the regular... I mean, this is the... them for 50, normally. Okay. You know, is, is how those I bought go. mine today. Yep. I didn't right. even ask for a discount either. All right. Buy one though, right there. And this one okay. is the only one on the planet signed by Spain, Wilson, and Robert Williams. He uh, signed a bunch for us and mailed them up for the auction. Here's one by us. There's, mm -hmm. I got a few other Williams. Mm -hmm. Or probably on eBay. I mean, whatever doesn't go tonight, we're gonna put out on eBay. For sure. I don't want to do a hard luck thing on that. I want to do this again. I was Hippie talking Con? to him. I yeah. want to do HippieCon again. That's right. Steve was the producer of HippieCon. I want to do that again. Yeah. You were talking. It's time. So this is signed by all the, uh, the the first underground convention in 20 years when we did it. And it's signed by Spain and Bodie, well, pretty much everyone on the, you know, Bodie, Spain, S. Clay Wilson, all three Hernandez brothers, mm -hmm. yeah. Gilbert, Jaime, and Mario. I got the trifecta one year. I had to fly two of them in, but I got the trifecta. Steve Crompton, Kieran Dwyer, who did this, and me and my ex-partner Pitts. And we got Pepper Alexandria's belly dancing show, and she's there. So, yeah, these I have not sold on the market. from you? Um, no. No, okay. No, yeah. And um, I get to put these on the open market. Even Eric Sack wants a low number, but I, I've just been donating them to various causes over the years. So, so that's kind of cool. There are only a few of those done. And let's see, John Thompson donated a couple of signed pieces, his early Book of Dreams. It's got an introduction by Robert Anton Wilson. I've read this cover to cover. Very cool. Yeah, it is. It's a special you know, what happened on this date in, in the U.S. And he did these limited signed editions of his Cyclops comics, oh, Kukawai's yeah. Cyclops in, in Greek. And he got a little special signing there, and he put his thumbprint there. And this little man Dallas stuff. He's really, really a trip to deal with. I really enjoy him. So, wh whatever happened to him? He's sort of... He's around. You know, he's he does... He's down in Carmel. He, he travels between Carmel, Monterey, and, and San Jose. His wife, uh, Judy, is a brilliant artist in her own right. I'm glad to hear that. I want to get both of them back into print. He never hears it. Um, and so he's... Uh, you know, he's in these various art collections that they've just put him in, you know, books, you know, psychedelic art of the 60s. He's actually got a 225-page book on the history of Carmel that he's doing right now, he was telling me about. 
Oh. So he was going to email me when that happened. But yeah, he's got some pretty hardcore fans. I got one guy, a John Thompson fan, who every time he comes back from a deployment, he calls me up and says, you got any more John Thompson stuff? So at WonderCon, I put him on the phone with Thompson and blew his mind. Yeah. 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 Has he lived on a Santa Cruz or something? Yeah, he says San Jose and Monterey and Carmel. Uh -huh. His mom's still alive, and she's down in Monterey. Uh -huh. And then his wife, Judy, has got a place in San Jose. Uh -huh. So luckily we can see him fairly frequently that way because they don't have to come up that now let's see so it's from the from my porn star contingent this is uh from my uh first uh, porn star comic and it's signed by felicia herself and uh wow. this is donated by extreme comics some new buddies of ours. Uh, so what does she look like in person? Like? Pretty much that. Pretty much that. And she's done signings she with Spain. enough that she looks good? Oh, yeah. No, she Because, I mean, she's might be one of those people that if you're completely dressed so you can't see her at all. Did she sort of... No, know they, know, they know how to... They, they know they're always on when they're at a convention, so... Sure. So she's done a couple shows. And, and, and Ari here, my next porn star comic, she and Wilson did a San Diego together in 2005, and Robert Williams was jealous because he had to sit next to uh, Ron Turner and... <laughs> and Williams got to sit next to her. That's cruel. Now he's trying to get a picture of you and this nice picture. Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. assuming I raise uh, five to eight grand between now and January, this will be out in January. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the porn show in oh. Vegas. Oh. <laughs> All right, good. This is going directly to YouTube. Yep. Oh. Cool. <laughs> That's right, Anari Vox. RealAnariVox.com. And then uh, Larry Todd donated this. That's his print. Uh, I saw a lot of these, actually. People, especially the kids. Kids love this print. Uh, Moby Gleep. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And these are donated by the DiCarlo uh, estate. Oh. I worked with uh, DiCarlo before he passed away. This is a limited signed uh, print uh, with a certificate signed by Josie, his widow. That's her jizz in the Pussycats. Hi. When Dan created that, it was named after his wife. So yeah, I've worked with uh, artists in their 90s all the way down to their teens. It's a trip. People love comics. That's the beauty about comics, you know. It's very democratic. You know, when I was a kid, I could walk up and meet Trina or Sherry Flanagan or, you know, Ted Richards. And they were just cool people. They corrupted me early. <laughs> So did you grow up in San Francisco? Mm -hmm. What neighborhood? Well, um, I guess it's called Pacific Heights or about Washington, 3324 Washington. My grandparents were down a few blocks there. My parents got divorced when I was about four. And then down, uh, so I went with my mom and stepdad to Atherton before, and then they sold before the prices got really good, unfortunately. And then my dad was in the city for another 10 years, and then he moved to Hawaii. Wow. So pretty much, you know. <laughs> and then you know, going to Comics and Comics, you know, on yeah. Columbus yeah. Avenue. Yeah. That was my main store there. Yeah, no, some of my first yeah. memories were the Summer of Love. The uh, <laughs> hippies parked down on our street for like a few <laughs> days in the van, and like my mom was all weirded out, and so she sent my dad down to talk to them. And go, oh, they're cool. They're cool. You know. But yeah, it's. Uh, then I used to, you know, on Broadway. They would have like, undergrounds and some stuff there, and they had like a spirit, like the first, you know, because Dan's Kitchen did a couple of spirit undergrounds. And so I said, the spirit, cool, you know, I saw the spirit in the Jules Feiker book. I said, oh, no, you, your dad has to buy this for you. What's the spirit? <laughs> oh, it's his adult zone. Huh? Well, well, have you seen his collected, uh, collected uh, Dennis Kitchen? He has all these jams with the... No, I haven't seen the, the volume yet. I saw the cover, though. Yeah. Well, well, he, uh, Dennis was my agent for uh, Che. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, he, I got him and Frank Stack out to Motor City a couple years ago. We had a blast because he, you know, hadn't been out as an artist for like forever. Oh, uh, yeah. So that was cool. I had him. I let him ship some boxes to my cousin, my cousin's dental office, and got him to the convention for him and, and everything. But yeah, that was like the only time I really got to hang with him socially and relax. You know without having to worry about shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. But no, he's, he's done well by a lot, a lot of y'all, for sure. Well, you know Paul Buell? I want to totally meet him. I've just become, I've been started reading up on him, and I introduced myself to G Gerard Vanderloon on Facebook, so now I'm hooked up with him. You know, talk about the early guys who did all the, the writing. But yeah, no, I'd, I'd love an intro to him. 
I got a book, uh, Underground Press in America of here, I'm going to read. Well, well, you know, in shade, the first, uh, you know, the first panel, this guy saying, you know, who's this guy? Who's this guy? Uh, you keep seeing this picture all over. And the guy says, well, this is, that's Ernesto Che Guevara. And then it launches into 100 pages. <laughs> and then the final thing is the guy's sitting, uh, you know, sit, sitting in a restaurant. And Dennis said, he said, the only guy who would do that is Paul Buell. <laughs> <laughs> That nobody else would do that. Just to ask him a question, and he would give you a hundred-page worth. What about you? You do the same thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he, he had some of those at his show in Brooklyn, and officially, it's not him. So we're going to split. Right. Yeah, made a bad morning. Nope. Well, uh, thank you for coming. That was fun. Sorry, it wasn't it? Too much, but the right people yeah, were here. Nice. Right. Nice. Yeah, the right people then. Beautiful. The rabid yeah, crowd. Yeah. But I will come and visit you and take you out to lunch. You too, Susan, if you want. Yeah. I'm gonna bring a low number for I'm gonna bring a low number for Steve. Okay. And then yeah, one of the few ones signed by you and Crumb will okay. go to Steve. Yeah. Okay, it was beautiful. Don't worry, a few hundred people are gonna see you on YouTube in a right. in a few Very days. Cool. Thanks, Ray. Right. Right. <laughs> we're gonna get Ray uh, well, well, behind a table at San Jose. I have a YouTube oh yeah? What's it? What's it under? Spain Rodriguez stuff. Oh, of course. Does that give you one of those? That's next year's show. Mm -hmm. I think you're already on the guest list. Mm -hmm. So we're really gonna push the underground alley big this year. Okay, Bernie right. Uh, matter of fact, I wanna um. Uh, so we're, we're writing articles instead of sending out press releases. Yeah. Uh, so about March ish, I want to write a big article on the underground alley comes to you know on what we're doing. Okay. So yeah. I want to make it a bigger part of the show. Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah. I thought it was a good start last year. You know what yeah, we were yeah. doing, and I liked it. Yeah. So let's Me too. make it bigger. You know. Yeah. Like I said, I think you're already on the website. I think you're already. <laughs> oh yeah, the guys who did Comic Art Fan built our website for us this year because they they bought into the show. They liked our show so much. They went, this is the one we want to be part of. And they're in the Google Top 100 websites. I mean, they're like get a million hits a year or a month. So they decided they wanted to be part of the show. And the website is like, I, I, we didn't. We didn't have the kind of money to even consider yeah. building a website that's as nice yeah. as oh, it's so nice. Oh yeah, well, I'll, I'll yeah. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Check it out. It's on the, the things on there. Okay. So nice I'll see you soon. Store. Yeah. Anything you need for a dark corner later? Yeah. Okay. Nice to know. Nice to know. Well, that, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Tales from the Crypt. Yeah. You need something? I don't know. It's been up there for so long. Uh, for so long, the store's only been open since mid March. I did March. What this one here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Want me to grab price on it? Um, Want me to grab it? You Are you tall enough? Oh, there you go. Yeah. She got a higher that guy. Here's the step stool I got. Yeah. Woo! Here they come. Cool. Did they? All right. Did they put a price on? Oops, sorry. Two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. One. Well, okay. But for you. Well, Jim, I think. Oh, and you could talk to Jim about it, of course. Okay. That's yeah, that's the starting point. Okay. You, you are like, you know, trade discount. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, if you want to trade some artwork, you can do that. Can he reach you? Uh, I'm, uh, both of those have a good Okay. All right. I'll take this up for the next time. Thanks for coming.